motorcycle first. Considered a deadly weapon by some. It's a Rock River Arms Tactical Operator 2. You hit your bolt release. This AR-15 is a gun in high demand. They're probably one of the hardest on the market to get right now. And for one lucky winner, the grand prize in the Atwood Hammond Little League raffle. When you don't have enough stuff to even practice with, that's it's hard to run a team. Stephen McLean is the Little League commissioner. He says last year's fundraiser of half a hog was a huge flop. Last year we made a whole $10 after a lot of man hours and working on it. So to generate a little or a lot more interest this year, the raffle prize is one of these, one of the hottest guns in the market. Guns are super hot right now. They're extremely hard to get. We decided to go that route. Cover. Atwood Armory offered McLean this rifle they ordered a few months ago. We have a list of probably 200 people that are wanting AR-15s right now. We could have sold it to them, but we decided we knew it would create a, you know, a good raffle for the Little League team. Co-owner Charity Butcher says this isn't their first assault rifle raffle. A similar guns raised over $7,000 for a local cancer foundation. You know, they're a piece of metal, basically. They're not going to do the harm unless you've got the person holding them. But guns in Little League? They may think that it would be a, a bad influence of some sort. Well, to, to me, the, the bad influence is not parenting. I'm not afraid to leave at the house with a loaded gun there at the house. That may sound crazy to a lot of people, but the thing is, my kids have all been taught exactly how to handle a gun. They know they're not a toy.